good morning guys and today our topic is signal and system and now we are going to discuss uh, the exponential signal exponential signal exponential signal means look just one minute this is a gra this is the quadrant this is t for the continuous signal and this is x of t means the functions okay exponential means either it is either it is gradually increasing gradually increasing in this way a in this way or it may be any way but if something e to the power something is there so that it is exponentially increase or it may be exponentially decrease or it may be exponentially decrease okay so these type of signals are called the exponential signal okay so the uh, real exponential signal is is the real exponential expo exponential signal and is represented T represented by look x of t x of t this is the function it is k into e to the power our just a t e to the power a t okay this is term if there is a any this type of terms is there e to the power a t or e to the power minus a t then it is it is you can you can recognize this this is the exponential thing where k are the or a is the real number look this numbers and this numbers are the real number if this is this is j then j omega then it will be the imaginary number so oh, imaginary axis okay so when a is positive the signal xt will be an exponentially rising this 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 signal is a is positive for the a equal to positive signal but when a is negative where a is negative if a is negative then exponentially this is x x p o n exponentially exponentially sorry this is double l okay exponentially negative okay and this signals are exponentially the positive means exponentially positive means it is exponentially rising and this is the exponentially decaying okay because it is starting from the high range y but gradually it is going to the zero gradually it is going to the zero okay so this is exponentially decay okay guys guys get this point so this is one type of signal is exponentially exponential signal you have to learn so many signals okay and then you can go for the total application and now this is what this is for this is for the continuous signal continuous signal but if you go for the the discrete signal then this continuous line will not be be appeared so i am i am going to going to draw the okay
okay so say this is zero and i am going for the red this is what x of n and this is n okay so here is zero here is minus one here is minus two here is plus one plus two plus two plus three plus four so on so if you can see this is two exponentially rising exponentially rising exponentially rising Okay, just like this. Guys, you can observe this. So this is the two discrete signal where exponentially this n and this x n is the x. This is exponentially decreasing and this is exponentially increasing. So what will be the what will be the in the formulation of this that is x n x of n equal to a to the power n n for all n okay okay so each and every n each and every n this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and this is plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 5 each n you have to get some point okay so then if this this value is positive, then it is exponentially rising. If this a value is the negative, then it, it is decreasing. Okay, so this is the exponentially discrete value, discrete signal. Okay, so this is the exponential signal. And now next one is next one is your sinusoidal signal guys draw with me in your copy uh, otherwise after a few days, you all forget it and then it will be difficult. We all know what is sinusoidal signal, but how could I represent it? How could I mathematically represent it? That is the main factor.
Oma. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption. Look, this is function of t, okay? And this is sinusoidal signal. If I go for the sinusoidal signal, So what is what will be the mathematical expression? A continuous time sinusoidal signal is given by is given by this expression x of t equals to k this is the constant into sine in omega t just like this sine omega t plus theta theta is the angle what is this uh, look This k or it may be it may be written as the a. A is the amplitude. Omega is the k is the or somewhere it is written as a sine in omega t plus theta. Okay, this a is called or k is called the angular uh, amplitude. And now you know this is the sine omega is the angular frequency in the radian per second. Angular frequency, this is a see it is radian rad per second. Okay, and you know the time is time, and theta is the phase angle in radian. Theta is the phase angle. in radian this is the red this is the this is the expression and of this sinusoidal signal okay and the time period of the continuous time sinusoidal signal is time period means how much it is covered the one cycle this is one cycle okay so this is given by t equal to 2 pi by omega this is the time period Okay, and now if you are you asked to draw the discrete signal, then how could you draw this? Same signal, look, just same signal. We are doing this in the discrete time signal. function of not t here you have to put in here you have to put in nothing okay nothing else now point
look. Okay, so you have to put over here, 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 you have to put over here.